But now it's time to tell you what serverless is. Serverless is, simply put, the next evolution of cloud computing. The first tricky part about serverless, though, is that it really means two different things. First of all is backend as a service, or BAS, as I'll sometimes call it in this, in this presentation. Backend as a service is all about replacing custom server-side logic with off-the-shelf services. It's like software as a service, or SaaS, but for application development rather than business processes. Backend as a service vendors offer generic components that can be plugged in to an application, especially as the generic backend of a custom front-end component. So let me give you a couple of examples of backend as a service. First of all, databases. Many mobile application development teams have found that it makes a lot of sense to connect a mobile app directly to a database. A BAS database is a vendor-hosted database that removes much administration overhead and provides authorization for different types of users and other useful features. Google Firebase is a great example in this field and in many ways is a natural successor to PaaS, which a lot of mobile teams were using a couple of years ago before Facebook bought it and shut it down. Another example of backend as a service is authentication. Many applications code their own authentication functionality. So sign up, login, password management, integration with other authentication providers, that kind of thing. Most of this code is very similar across many applications. And so products like Auth0 and Amazon Cognito exist. And they are ready-built functionality so that we don't have to build our own, our own authentication functionality ourselves. So that's backend as a service, generic hosted application components that we can bundle into our own apps. The other half of serverless is functions as a service, or FAS. FAS is a new way of deploying server-side software oriented around deploying individual functions or operations. And it's really FAS that have sort of set the the, the, the hipster world ablaze of serverless. And it's, it's really sort of the big part of things when people think about serverless. So let me tell you a bit about what FAS means. So when we traditionally deploy server-side software, we start with a host instance, for example, a virtual machine instance or a container. We then deploy our application within the host. This application is an operating system process and usually contains code for several different operations. FAS, Functions as a Service, changes this type of deployment. We strip away both the host instance and the application process from our model and instead just focus on the operations or functions that express our application's logic. Instead of a host, we have the concept of a vendor FAS platform. And we deploy these functions to the FAS platform as very basic code units. Think a jar for JVM or just plain source code for JavaScript. These individual functions, though, are not constantly active in a server process sitting idle until they need to be run, as they would be in a traditional app. Instead, the FAS platform is configured for each, app, each operation to listen for a specific event. When that event occurs, the vendor platform transparently creates an ephemeral container for a function on demand and executes the function within that container, passing it a representation of the triggering event. Now note, we as developers and operations folk don't define the construction of the generic container at all. That is all done by the FAS platform. Once the function has finished executing, the FAS platform is free to tear down the container. <laughs> 